One thing I hear all the time is, how will I know when I'm ready? How will I know it's time to leave my toxic spouse? And today I wanna to talk about what I tell those people who ask me that. There are three indicators that I wanna share with you so you'll know when it's time to leave your toxic spouse. But before we get started, will you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel? That's how these videos are going to get in front of more of the people who really need to hear this information. I'm Victoria McCooey. I'm a narcissist divorce coach, a motivational speaker, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Power system. I help people every day who are right where you are, stuck in a toxic marriage to a narcissistic spouse, or already engaged in a contentious divorce from one. So as you can imagine, I've heard it all. I've heard people say, well, I can't leave now because the kids are too young, or the kids are too old, they're in high school, they need to go off to college, or um, I can't leave until after they're out of college, or I can't leave until I get a new job, or I can't leave until um, whatever, fill in the blank. There's always an excuse, and what I always say is, there's never a good time, but here's how you're going to know that you are ready to leave and you must leave your narcissistic spouse. Number one, you're always sick. You are chronically ill, either physically ill, emotionally ill. You are always sick or depressed. You are tired, you're lethargic, you have whatever symptoms, uh, IBS, fibromyalgia, migraines, all these things that no doctor can actually tell you the reason for having these things because it's anxiety and the depression that comes along with being in this situation. We are animals, right? We are built like animals and just the same as animals out in the wilderness, we're wired so that when we're in distress, when we have fear or anxiety, like a predator is coming, we see a predator coming, then we go into a, a different chemical balance. Our body chemistry changes, it shifts so that we can react appropriately, we can run faster, our peripheral vision changes, our digestive juices change, enzymes, everything changes so that we can save our lives. But that chemical balance or imbalance can't be sustained. So when the animal out in the wilderness gets away from the predator and is now safe, then its body chemistry goes right back to its normal levels. And it goes on like nothing ever happened. So they're fine. We don't go back to our normal levels when we're living with a narcissistic spouse. We're constantly in a state of fight or flight. Our body chemistry never goes back to normal. So what happens, our organs start getting worn away. We become compromised in all kinds of different ways. Now, I'm no doctor, but I think that whatever your Achilles heel is, is what gets attacked first. So if you have a weak stomach like I do, that's, it's your stomach that bears the brunt of it. If you are prone to having headaches, then you know, you're going to get the migraines. If your pulmonary system is, whatever your Achilles heel is, probably will be affected first. But it's like dominoes. Once one thing gets affected, the next, the next, and the next get affected. You can't live like this. You will get very, very sick. It's really just a matter of time. Your body can't sustain that level of anxiety over long periods of time without a break. When you're 24 seven walking on eggshells and, and worried about what the next shoe that's going to drop and, and so nervous about whatever's happening, whatever abuse you're about to receive, I'm getting tense just talking about it, right? So you're living it. You're living it day in and day out. Your body can't withstand it. So the number one indicator is that you are always sick or depressed. The second indicator that it's time to leave your toxic marriage, you can't make a decision. You're always second guessing yourself. You don't have any confidence in your own thought process. You are so nervous about doing the wrong thing because guess what? You're told everything you do is wrong. Everything you do 
is not good enough. Whatever decision you make is the wrong one. However you do something is not the right way. Of course, after years of this messaging that you've been given, you're going to start believing it. Even if you, on an intellectual level, don't believe it to be true, it seeps in. It's going to make you doubt yourself. Your confidence is at an all-time low. Your self-esteem has been whittled away. You can't feel good about yourself. You doubt everything about yourself. So that is the second indicator. And finally, the third indicator that it's time to leave your toxic marriage, you're sure that whatever's on the other side has got to be better than where you are now. That is the telltale sign that you are ready because now you're fearless. You know that whatever life is like for you post-divorce, after you've left this relationship, you know it must be better than what's going on now. You might have to do a little inner work to get to this place. You might have to do some exercises to rebuild your self-esteem, to start the healing process. Now, you're not going to be able to fully recover, fully heal from the narcissistic abuse while you're living with the narcissist, that's for sure. But you can begin. You can begin rebuilding your confidence, rebuilding your self-esteem so that you know whatever's on the other side, that you can handle, that you can deal with, that you can figure out. What you have now, you cannot, no one can handle this. So you know that you have the wherewithal, that you're scrappy enough and smart enough and brave enough to go do whatever it takes to live a happy life on the other side without the baggage of this narcissistic abuse. If you'd like to talk to me about what's going on and how I might be able to help or give you some advice on precautions you can take or exercises you can do to start that healing process, you can book a strategy session with me. There will be a link below in the description where you can book your call right on my calendar. Did you find this information helpful? I sure hope you did. If you liked this video, will you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I've linked a couple of other videos here that I think you might also like. So I hope I see you in the next video.